Hi everyone, welcome to week 15 of pregnancy. This is your 10 minute core workout. All you'll need is a mat and some space to move around you and we'll get straight into it. Our first exercise is going to be on your side, up onto your hand, one knee down. Before you start, make sure that your ankle, hip and shoulder are in a nice straight line. Looking down at those abs, we're trying not to let them hang out, but we're zipping up those abs so I can now feel a little bit of tension in those abdominal muscles. Try not to sink into that shoulder, push up and out, and then we are ready to move. So hand comes up to the ceiling, and what we're going to do is lift that leg up. And the first movement is knee to elbow, stretch back out. Knee to elbow, stretch back out. Slow and controlled. And that torso is not moving from where it is. And if this is a bit too challenging for you, you can come down onto your elbow, onto your knees, and just hold a side plank. We've got three more of these. Two. One, we're going to hold that last one. Hand can come up to the ceiling or on your hip, and we're pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So that also works the outer hip muscles. I don't know if you can feel that. I definitely can. And in the interest of symmetry, we do the same thing on the other side. So hand comes down, supporting yourself on one knee, push up and out of those shoulders, a little bit of tension into those abdominal muscles. And we're going to lift leg up and first movement, knee to elbow, stretch back out. Using your breath as you go. Exhale as you pull in, inhale out. Once again, down onto elbows and down onto knees and a side plank hold if this is a bit too challenging. Four, three, two, Last one, we're going to hold it out there, arm up to the ceiling or on your hip, and we pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And there goes my water bottle and my foam roller. So just take a minute to breathe in and out. We're going to go back onto the other side, but now we're on that position or in that position that I mentioned before. Down onto elbow, knees, hips up. This is our elbow side plank. We're going to lift one arm to the ceiling. And before you start, remember to zip up, tense into those abdominals. Push the hips a little bit forward so you're not sitting too far back. And we're lifting the bottom of that trunk away from the mat. And all that happens is the top arm comes down and reaches back up to the ceiling. So this is about keeping the trunk nice and stable while our arm does the movement. You can make this more challenging by coming up into a full side plank. You can add a weight to your hand or you can stay on your knees. Breathing for four, three, two, one. Sit the hips down, just push up onto your hands and let the side of that trunk just fall to the mat. You'll feel a little bit of a stretch on the side of the body. Sit in that for a few seconds before we switch over 
to the other side. Elbow down onto the mat. Knee, so pick your level, either full plank or kneeling plank. Remember not to sink into that shoulder. Push up and out. Push those hips forward, ever so slightly. Abdominals tense, protecting that lower back. And you can bring that arm up to the ceiling. And then we start tapping forward and up, forward and up. And for me, this side is a little bit easier. I'm a bit stronger on my left side than my right. And so you may notice these slight asymmetries as you do exercises from side to side. I'm going to do five more. Four, three, two, last one. And sit those hips back down up onto those hands, left side of that body, let those hips just sink towards the mat as you give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Breathing. We're then going to shift positions again. And this time we're coming down into a normal plank, rather a downward facing plank. Onto your elbows. Push up and out of those elbows. Feet come up and just hold for a few seconds, making sure that the hips are not too high. We're trying to be in a nice straight line. I'm tensing through those abdominals and we're going to sway forward and back. Forward and back. Kind of like a seesaw without the up movement, just the side to side. If this is a bit challenging, come down to your knees and just hold a plank here. But if not, we're swaying for eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Keep it going. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring those knees down. Sit back into a quick child's pose for a release. Where you breathe. And then come back out into that plank. Either holding your kneeling plank or once again, you're up onto those toes. And now we're tapping those toes out to the side. Alternating between left and right. Keep those hips still. As you can tell by my shaking voice, this is somewhat of a challenge. Four more. And three. And two. One. Sit back. Quick child's pose. Release. Stretch forward. We do each of those one more time sways back and forward first down to elbows push out of those shoulders up onto toes and we sway forward for ten nine eight seven you can give your glutes a little bit of a squeeze here four three Two, one, release, shake up those arms a little bit, straight into our side toe taps. Up at the plank and we tap out and out. Out and out. Four more, and three, two, one, sit back, quick shake out, last movement, bonus movement is just a 20 second plank hold. Stay on your knees, 
or up onto your toes and we hold. Breathe. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax back down. Just shake out those arms and give yourself a little bit of a clap. That is our 10 minute core workout for week 15. Just a reminder to subscribe so you know when our workouts are coming out. And we'll see you again later this week for another workout.